What up, Charlie? It's your girl, Raji, and I'd like to welcome you to my podcast, The Kush Concierge, something for the people, where the evolved hustlers come to learn more about hoodoo, tarot, culture, astrology, and a little bit of everything in between. So, I hope you guys had a great day yesterday, first of all, and I am going to do something a little different today that I don't do usually. I am going to add a little bit of tribe talk in with today's episode. And I just want to let y'all know that ahead of time. So if you are, you know, skipping around, waiting for the reading, you might miss out on something good. So just want to let you know ahead of time, you know. But hey, the message will reach who it's supposed to reach at the end of the day. Right, right. Okay. (laughs) So, yeah. First and foremost, shout out to the new subscribers and shout out to the OGs. I appreciate y'all for continuing to tune in and share and engage with my content. Now, I had a very, very unique and interesting download that I am going to share with you guys today. And first of all, I was watching (laughs) this show on Netflix, and I may have mentioned it to you guys. It's called Chaos, right? And at first, I think I may have mentioned to y'all how, like, at first I couldn't quite, like, I couldn't quite catch it. Like, it was, (sighs) it wasn't getting to me, like, I thought. So... I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to finish this out. Well, something sizzled in my spirit and told me to finish that shit on out. So I did. Like I said, usually when I'm guided to watch shit, because I don't watch a lot of TV, it'd be time for me to like rest my mind and spirit be like trying to show me something that I need to know or I need to tell people, you know, or whatever, right? So this show is no different. <laughs> And it's not shocking because a lot of what I interpret based on my natal chart, I'm supposed to interpret information. I'm supposed to pick up on the un like the underlying tones of certain shit. That's like my thing, whatever. Gift and a curse because it makes me like a super researcher sometimes. And um, anyway, no need to go ham so okay y'all know i was watching preacher right and if y'all hadn't caught up on preacher y'all need to i'm gonna finish preacher today too because i feel like i it made me like think of it like in a dumb way because like i'm supposed to watch the end of like i'm supposed to catch the underlying tone of that shit um so i'm gonna wrap up preacher so y'all already know how i feel about that um and so if you haven't watched Preacher, Preacher is a show where as the guy, um, it came off of AMC Plus, but it's like streaming on Netflix right now. It's like four seasons. So anyway, the guy, Jesse Cutlitz or Preacher, he stems from a family. First of all, it, okay, hold on. Let me see. Let's see. Let me, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't go into Preacher right now. Okay, y'all gonna have to go back to the episodes where I was talking about Preacher. I ain't gonna talk about Preacher right now. I just got down. Don't like, don't even jump into all this shit. Okay, let's talk about Chaos. So, Chaos is a show that centers around the Greek gods. Um, and it modernizes it to give us some sort of insight with how I would suspect that this is going to be like affecting us in today's society right okay so as we get ready to tap into that information right okay y'all all know first and foremost everything that we do is based on the greek gods and roman like culture is an extension of greek culture because greek culture was like their very first or lack of better words might as well say there our very first like mainstream cultures is what our days of the week are based off of it's what like our time is based off of our seasons like all like so there's like 
a hard way to like not ignore it right okay it's hard to ignore that shit it's hard to look in the other direction everything we do whether you believe in woo woo superstition mythology whatever the fuck whether you believe in that shit or not pretty much our whole entire lives including the seasons certain holidays shit like it is designed around greek and roman mythology like culture etc extends i'm gonna just say greek because y'all obviously know i'm gonna give y'all some insight into that in a minute so anyway the show is based off the and it gives like a modern take into like somewhat how things were done and like why things are going the way they're going now okay so it's like a comedy so as you're watching it like a dark humor comedy so as you're watching it you can get kind of lost in the sauce if you're not a person that like really like pay attention because i almost got there i was like what the fuck okay anyway so everything is based on greek mythology pretty much everything we fucking do right now Here's my so as I'm watching this shit right towards the end, I start to like like oh uh, my spidey senses start going off and I'm like damn this shit means something so okay I had to I wrote some notes okay so y'all know we've been studying Lilith right now this gonna all tie back into like the whole concept of Lilith right okay cool stay with me stay with me. Um, okay, so Kronos, right? Kronos and Rhea, right? And Gaia, which is Mother Earth, right? All came together to create the world as we know it. This is beginning, beginning, before sound, before time, before grass and humans and people. And as they was experimenting, trying to figure out what we would evolve into, like all this shit came from Kronos, right? Kronos is killed by Zeus, right? Zeus is the god as we know it today. Why do I say that? Okay. Everything that we do is stemming from Greek and Roman mythology and culture. They essentially, before the synchronization of Roman Catholicism, I hope I'm saying that right, I'm probably pronouncing that shit right, is like, okay, hold on. Okay, Mount of Olympus, gods, Greeks, like fighting the Titans and the gods or whatever, right? Like all that shit, they went down. So Zeus and the other gods, like they, okay, hold on. How can I put this? Because I'm going to dance all around the world with this shit, I know. And I had to take notes because I was like, <laughs> I'm going to... Okay, hold on. So, okay, we worship Zeus. Like, Christian culture, Christian whatever, like, is worshiping Zeus. They don't call Zeus Zeus no more because of Romans have, like like merged like it took what we know today is christianity so they call zeus god so chronos and gaia and rhea are the people that really created like the word as we know it right then zeus killed his dad well never necessarily kill him but put him into what's this place tartaria which is like the deepest darkest drones of fucking hell like that's what hell we consider hell but tartaria is below hell tartaria is where the gods the angels and stuff like that go people go to where hades is which is nothing right okay cool so as we have merged what we have been taught like the christian bible catholics all that shit what we have been taught is form a form of zeus but zeus had to have almost like water himself down because he was like not wanting to 
you know how they be like, God is a jealous God. Da, 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 da. So when you watch the show, you see all these qualities in Zeus. And that's when it came to me. Like, and I start, if, if you read, all you got to do is go fucking research and read. They have just switched it up. They have synchronized. They have changed shit. As a culture, we have evolved. As a world, as a people, we have evolved. So Zeus ain't Zeus. Zeus is God. Okay. Look up Zeus. Look up Roman culture. Look up Greek culture. Follow the fucking breadcrumbs. Okay. Now, Zeus has people around him, extra gods. So it's already been mapped out that there are other gods, but none more powerful than Zeus. Zeus is more powerful because Zeus killed Kronos. Zeus, like, is the strongest, most powerful one. Zeus created babies, demigods. Zeus was the one, along with the other gods, right? That were mating with the humans that they evolved into, right? Their offspring, you know, because uh, uh, there were things like nymphs and sea gods and just different shit. So all those people was like mating and making kids. And then Zeus was coming down here trying to like create his like offspring or whatever and then there's a whole nother like line of shit with him and like the goddess Hera which is his wife right who's also very powerful but she can't be powerful because she's jealous you know so she ain't as powerful right okay cool that's the only reason that Hera is not like big dog type shit because she real jealous and she got a bad temper okay hold that thought for her right so anyway this is Zeus, like the demigods, right? Okay, so the Greeks and the Romans conquered like the oldest people, which would be the Egyptians, Paleo Indians type shit. Um, what else? Mesotomia, Sumerians, like all the ancients. The Greeks and the Romans conquered that. That's why you see a lot of Egyptian. African synchronization falling off into that and you can line certain gods and deities up right and they correlate like you be like damn they got that's how that's why you see so many Orisha and so many deities like that have similar characteristics these are synchronizations these are manifestations okay right cool so we worship a Christian God because Zeus, the Greeks and the Romans conquered the Egyptians, which is the oldest, right? Right? Okay. So, we've evolved. We've evolved. That's why we don't look like what they look like. That's why we don't have certain things. And then again, they made it with manifestations of themselves to create like a human. So, here you are. We're human. Black brown indigenous we would be considered the demigods why we inhabit in a bloodline from africa which would consist of people from sumerians egyptians the and i don't even want to say this because i don't want to like rough no feathers but you like why the jews and the ears like that like they having an issue over there right now like all this shit go way 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 back all of this is so like zeus can remain in control zeus bleeds like the show shows zeus as not being immortal zeus is not immortal he has godlike qualities. He is a demigod. He comes from Kronos, who is, you know, but Zeus, it has, he has the possibility to be conquered, right? Okay. And his people, Hera, Prometheus, keep Prometheus on your mind too, all has the quality tried to overcome him. Hades is his older brother. So, when we think of, oh, and there, I got a dollar about that too. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> and I'm sure somebody else turned around the birds thinking like these. I'm not, I know I'm not the only one because I done seen bits and pieces, but I feel like this show, maybe for me, was like a wait a fucking minute type of moment. 
Okay, so this is not what I think personally, y'all. This is what I was reading. Okay, so before y'all getting y'all feelings and be like, oh my god, like this shit is what I was reading on, like researching and putting the pieces together. This ain't my personal. I'll give you my personal opinion at the end, maybe. I don't know. Right now, this is all research, downloads, and me watching shit. Okay. Historically, we outrank the Greeks and the Romans, right? Coming from a certain arena. Why did we outrank them? Because we come from that lineage of people who were before them, right? So then some type of way. Now, I ain't got to that lane. That lane. Like, I don't know where the fuck. I believe like groups come groups. <laughs> Zeus comes in where Kronos them come in and somehow along the lines we made it and came together which is you know you see where like Alexander the Great went to you know um Cairo or wherever he went and made it with you know had Cleopatra they had you know have shoot they had all these people and think we was made with their ass because we was trading we was doing certain shit like everybody at first had their own place then some type of way we end up mating and like then they come through they conquer 10 on one on the time stamp they conquer because at first our people would worship on that end sun god Ra, right Ra. y'all know everybody be talking about this shit like the eye of horrors the eye so like, that's what type of shit we was on at first right right okay cool but then we synchronized and we went to maiden and you know being friends and trading and shit with the greeks and the romans and they have their own thing there are there's more than one there was sun god rock now the greeks and the romans do not respect the sun god roman this in their in their world he is called helios and then it's another name they look at as that as like a savage thing who they think is the savage these days. Come on, like, put the puzzle pieces together. Okay, thanks. So, Lilith, right? Lilith comes from Mesopotamian. I'm not going to look that shit up right now. I don't feel like it. Culture, Sumerian, Iraq, Dubai, uh, Jinn, like um, Abu Dhabi. She come from over there. Israel, like she come from that arena. That's where Lilith come from. They call Lilith a demon, right? Lilith is God's first daughter, okay? If Adam is God's first son, Lilith being God's first daughter, but Lilith went do right, so... And I say do right in like loosely because, you know, rebel, feminine. Everybody know the research of Lilith. Y'all know the Lilith is the divine feminine, what we ashamed of, the dark goddess, right? Okay, cool. Lilith is from over there. Gotcha, gotcha. She the first daughter. Now, keep this in mind as you watch this show, right? So, Lilith comes in the form of what one would consider chaos think about what this show called now okay look up the goddess chaos okay now lilith is from over there not over there <laughs> <laughs> like that's the best way i could put that shit so y'all get it but that's why they demonize lilith lilith is a from spirit Lilith holds from spirit. So when Sun God Ra and these guys and these people, they start main and coming together, they produce children, they produce offspring. Lilith is a part of that. Okay. Now, the Greeks. The Greeks believe, these are my notes, worshiping the sun was beneath them. So, but not beneath you, you can't. It's dangerous. Not beneath you, you can't. I mean, facts is facts. Like, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Who survives in the sun? Who's in the greatest oppression right now? I mean, I'm just asking questions, and then y'all answer the questions in y'all mind, and y'all be like, put two and two together of how this shit, like, 
it's 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 a story beyond time. Like this shit is beyond like okay, right? So now back to Sun God Ra. So Sun God Ra, right? They they said worshiping the sun was beneath them. They synchronized, married the women, put people in certain places, etc. Politically you know certain humans officials as we go higher up the food chain so to speak are more close to gods and goddesses they have a closer channel they have a different type of bloodline that gives them certain access presidents politicians if you notice all politicians presidents they be coming from certain bloodlines they go to certain colleges they 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 even in the UK, certain places, they would like intermarry, right? Right. Okay, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like kiss and cousin type shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is not unheard of because in the old, old Greek day, Hera and Zeus is brother and sister and husband and wife. Follow where I'm going with this. Okay, thanks. So, to keep it all, you know what I'm saying? So, this is a story as old as time. Like, fuck that. So, Back to Sun God Ra. Why is Sun God Ra? So I asked myself, I said, why the fuck is, okay, so if Sun God Ra was perpetually like that God, you know, spirit, nature, etc., why the fuck do we not have a, like, you know, it'd be like, okay, you hear a lot of people say, y'all can't be free because y'all perpetually trapped and oppressed, you know, black, brown, indigenous culture. Because we worship in the wrong God, right? We don't worship Sun God Ra, right? You don't you don't worship him. We don't worship Amun Ra anymore. Now you be like, okay, if he's so powerful, if he's so this, if he's so dead, then why he won't come get you? Okay. So even in the show and the information that I was looking at, when you don't worship a God, it loses its power, right? Zeus in the show has to continue to have worship. He has to continue to have people. And you'll see him many times in the show, like flip his shit because and he'll send, he was wanting to send tragedy. He was wanting to kill certain lineages off. And this is all in this show now because like he felt like his power was getting weaker. Like we didn't believe anymore. We were like worshiping other things, like et cetera. Cool. Y'all following what I'm saying here? Now, we don't worship black, brown, indigenous people. We don't worship Ra. So he's retreated. He seems somewhat has lost his influence. Okay. So they use our knowledge against us. They use our bloodline against us. Ra has been watered down. Okay. There is a prophecy. Now, this is where the fates come in. Now, y'all going to see the fates in the show too, right? You can't beat fate. In the show, Zeus realizes he is aging. He realizes he can bleed like a human. He has human-like qualities. So, Zeus goes, just like Kronos. Go back, look at Kronos. Kronos ate his fucking children. Zeus killed his children off. Hera was killing people off. Like, they, like, whatever. Okay, gotcha. Now... Um, so the consensus of the show is Prometheus, right? Who gave us fire, who gave us knowledge, who gave us technology is, was Zeus friend, but Zeus was mad because Prometheus gave humans this shit, right? Prometheus in the show is waiting around for the prophecy to be fulfilled or fate to do what he do. You know what I'm saying? Because he is wanting the people to become knowledge almost like on some tower of babel type shit right like bill you get smart enough to build a tower so anyway zeus got mad at this shit because that so he like research yourself like the connection between zeus and prometheus in that story so in the show prometheus becomes free because of fate they tell Zeus, you can do what you want to do. You can't beat fate. You can't beat destiny. You can't beat the prophecy. Zeus say fuck that. He try to burn fate up. He can't fucking do it. Now, this is the eighth episode. Like, this one the show ends. It's only eight episodes. 
peep the number eight because we are in a Saturn year, the year eight, and they will tell you they have to show us what they feel like. One girl made a really good insight the other day on TikTok. They have to show us. They feel like they got to show us. They feel like this a freedom from like karma or dharma because we're willingly being like stupid. <laughs> For lack of better words. We accepting it. Put it like that. Like we accept it. We send it as a joke. They go so far in the show to even talk about the fact that we like Zeus like to keep us distracted with certain shit. So between worshiping him distractions fearing etc 10 10 on the time step we just all lost in the motherfucking sauce well some people period those okay so hold on before i start giving my off the dome i want to stay with my notes <laughs> so the thing about it is the show's been made right so the premise of the show at the end is humans that are demigods that don't know they demigods have certain like gifts and abilities certain family lineages are like coming to pass Hera and Zeus is Zeus more often is killing off these motherfuckers and the other things are happening so fate free will all that shit coming to play it's like one big ass fucking game right or puzzle or whatever however you want to look at it okay so they saying that Zeus and the gods are feeding on souls. And when you die, there are some set people that sacrifice themselves, people that go being bad, um, people that go like, you know, pedophiles, rapists, rapists, murderers, or, you know, whatever. Then you got people that didn't really do bad, but they stuck. So, okay. These people, and then so like Medusa and other people in the show, they what you would consider the rebels, you know? And even Hades, like, jumps off the motherfucking map. He jumps off the boat because him and Persephone, like, we got to set shit right. Like, you doing too damn much. Like, people going to start to notice you doing too much. Like, I'm telling you, y'all, watch this show, Fred. Please watch this show. This is why they don't want us to have fucking TikTok. <laughs> they do not want us to have TikTok. There's no way in the fuck I would have found this on weak ass Facebook or Instagram. I wouldn't have found this show. I found this show. on. I saw it on my Netflix, but I was like, whatever. But some guy was like, or girl, I don't remember, was like, hey, look at this. You know, y'all, they telling us. But he kept that shit brief. So, in my back of my mind, you know, you put that shit in your back pocket. I was like, damn. I'm going to go, like, watch it one day, you know, when I have time with it. Because it's been a lot of little shows that, like, been reaching out to me. Like, watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay, anyway. Okay, I'm getting on check. So, they call it the frame. The frame like a picture, like a Monet. Get it? Cool. I'm not going to put this shit on TikTok. Because... I got a picture and I feel like YouTube is as far as I'm going to be able to go with this shit without getting like a lockdown. Okay. So that's why they want to buy fucking TikTok. Y'all. <laughs> they fighting the motherfucking Chinese about TikTok because they want to control that shit. They want to control the media. The media is, oh my God, I could go. It gets deeper. Anyway, Prometheus, Prometheus done being set free. Somehow, some way. And now Zeus don't got no control. And Zeus, in research, it will tell you, Zeus ordered the killing of our suffering of all demigods. It say that shit online. <laughs> like, torture forever. So when you, what they say, when you chosen, when you this, when you that, you come through a karmic family you come through like with all type of issues and black sheep and shit. You got to go through that shit is by design. <laughs> that shit's by design. <laughs> okay. Now, because if you come up, you rise up and you a demigod. Guess who else is a demigod? Okay. He's scared that what's going to happen to him. He did the chronos. Somebody, one of his children, who is God's children. Okay. So, like, I'm going to leave a lot of shit open-ended because, I mean, I, I, I would I guess you smart enough to, like, 
overstand this shit, right? Okay. So, Medusa, Hades, Persephone, and a couple more people that I can't quite remember. They are fighting. Oh, Hera even get mad with Zeus says because he ain't doing right by women, right? Zeus ain't supposed to fuck with the women, and he do. So, Hera turn against him. Hades turn against him. Like, Persephone. Who else was got, got mad at him? Uh, Dionysus got mad at him because he do too damn much. Um... Who else? Somebody else. Anyway, they in the show, it be talking about how, like, none of his children, none of the other gods want to visit him no more because he just done got power hunger because he don't want to die. He don't want to be succeeded. Okay. So, anybody he feel like is going to have the ultimate power, they attack the fuck out their ass. Even so much as sacrificing, killing them. Think of your major leaders in civil rights, in the world, period. Anybody who had any, like, major influence to lead and guide and reach that status to a certain degree. What happens to them? Okay. Now, okay, so, what happens? Okay, so, you're not supposed to be able to raise the dead, but they be able to raise the dead in the show, too. So, all this yippy yappity about what Haitians do, etc., like, they own our ass because they don't want us to be able to do that shit. We have those abilities. We have that connection to spirit, to nature. But before I get all off into it, rant. Okay, staying on task. Um... Basically, they want to outsource Prometheus, like, and fate, the fates, all this shit, which is, this is verifiable information. Like, go back and look up Greek culture, look up the fates, look up Prometheus, look up all this shit, okay? Look up Hades. What we think is hell isn't hell, if that makes any sense, okay? Um, What we think it is, it's not what it is. And remember, I was telling y'all when I was researching like Pluto and Saturn, these are all gods, right? How do they keep themselves going? We worship them every fucking day, every month, every holiday. You have to do that to keep their ass going. It's so many other random gods that we don't even associate with or build for real because we don't practice those cultures anymore. We don't practice those things anymore. But who do we practice the most? What do we practice the most? Follow me. Follow the breadcrumbs. Follow the fucking breadcrumbs. Okay. So anyway, they want to get Zeus this how the season in with Prometheus escaping and letting Zeus know you cannot escape fate. You can't escape time. You can't escape none of this shit. You didn't try and try, but you got power hungry. You didn't do what you're supposed to do. And you're not, you know, to be a true leader god goddess whatever you have to have a little bit of both you have to have a little bit of your shadow a little bit of your light they're insinuating that zeus has gone dark he's selfish he's power hungry he was fair he was these but they saying now he not they saying he don't want to step down so he not being fair to the lesser or more oppressed people because he knows that we got a little ish, some razzle dazzle that might take over. Then he got the, the, the support of these other guys because they trying to figure out how they can make this shit benefit them as well. This shit trickles down into politics and everything else. Okay, cool. Religion. All right, so... Zeus feeding on souls. So the per the thing the season ends like uh you did your DC come back Cronaeus comes back or whatever his name is your DC her husband come back from hell well not necessarily hell it's the nothing they call it nothing so you get to a point in your journey like let's just say you commit suicide some random shit happen. You don't have nobody to support you, to collect your, like, give you a Zeus coin or however that go. I got to look more into that. But, because I'm like, this shit, even as long as we use 30 minutes in, this shit still surface level. Like a motherfucker. It goes so much deeper. There's so much more information. Um, So, they basically saying that it's a sham. And they trying to wake people up. That's why your DC and Cronaeus comes back from hell. Cronaeus goes to hell to get your DC, who is the god, the child of a nymph. 
which is a spirit, a nymph spirit. And um, I don't know who her daddy is. You DC? I don't know who her daddy is. But then, um, but you look up her name and what it means, right? That's why they say everything is a name. It means judge, justice, judgment. Shit like that, right? She come back. Then the god of music comes back, right? Crenaeus. He's like got god like music music qualities, right? They send him back and what else happens? Um basically they supposed to be like send shit right. Or assistant. So, everybody got their role, right? Now, another part of the show, Zeus is, like, very focused on whoever this leader of this place called Crate is. Like, that's what they more focused on. They don't focus on other parts of the world. I think Crate is in Greece. Let me look that up. So, Crate might be in Greece. Crete. Crete. My bad. Crete is in Greece. Yes, it is an island in Greece. Um, now, he's more focused on this leader of Greece. So, okay, now this is where the twins come in. So, they watching, right? So, you have to have balance, right? So, the president of Crete, like, is told by the gods that he has to sacrifice his first son because the son gonna be the downfall of his leadership etc right but he ended up having twins and the, the prophecy is whoever screams the loudest da 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 is gonna be the end of the family lineage type shit like don't quote me go watch it and he think it's the boy so he can't bear to kill the boy like somebody doesn't kill the son they just cage him up so think about how the man is acting right now i'm gonna leave that where it's at they just bond him and cage him down in the basement in the palace or wherever the governor, wherever he did it. Come to find out at the end of the damn show, it's the daughter who is the person. So she the one set shit off, the daughter, because she tells the dad she tried to save the, the, her twin, the brother, who they told her for years was dead. She tried to save the twin. And... She can't save him, or I don't know if she, what happened because she dragged him out and he bleeds. So I don't know at the end of the show. But what I do know is she ended up killing the daddy because she say, I'm going to fulfill the prophecy. I'm the one can't. Because in the show, it keep talking about how when she came out, like she was screaming and hollering and, you know, et cetera. But the son was quiet. So the daddy thought he was having to kill the firstborn son, but he missed the point. He was, he missed, he misread the prophecy. And come to find out, you can beat your prophecy. You can beat your destiny. They touch on that shit, too. So, anyway, like, Zeus them get up off the couch watching this, like, show of, basically, they watch us, like, they basically make it seem like they watch us like a show, like a TV show. And so, Zeus, like, get up. He think he won, right? And, um, he missed the part where, but Dionysus, I think I'm saying his name wrong. He's like telling him, like, Dad, look, because Dionysus is a demigod. He, I mean, well, he a god. He, but he live on earth. He come back and forth, and he, he like, she stabbed him. She killed a daddy, so she fucks the prophecy up, and that's another way to show in too. That's like another part on how it end. So, numerology, Greek mythology, Roman mythology. They ain't touching on the other folk. They ain't touching on us. They they somewhat, they tapping on us a little bit, but not team too much. They don't want to give, I believe that's going to be season two if they come out with season two. That shit was funny. Exactly eight episodes, y'all. Anyway. So, yeah, so basically what they saying is the people got to come back from Hades or whatever they at to let people know, like, in the idea that it has to be, it's going to be a revolution. It's going to be chaos. We finna be back into chaos times. Be, they say chaos is on the way, right? Okay, because Zeus is sending people to heaven, air quotes, wherever, but you really going to a place called the frame, sending you through the frame, and you... Our, your soul is fed on by the gods and like the bigger, better people, more rich, the wealthy, so that they could continue to live. Hmm. Sound familiar? Okay. And like certain people are supposed to stop this shit. And that's how the show ends. Now, our ticket is 
we have to build back our spirit and we can't worry like oh, this gonna sound like how it was coming off like we it's a shift that has to happen similar to the plot line in preacher like in preacher god runs away preachers looking for god but i think preachers looking for another god like Ra, but he can't find him because Ra done dipped the fuck off, right? Or the other gods, preachers looking for it, right? Where's this God? Where's this God on the show? And like, he looking, he looking. This has four seasons. Now, where am I going with this? Uh, He, preacher, is he gets the gift, now, they call the gift that preacher get in the show Genesis, right? They saying, don't nobody supposed to have Genesis. This is the voice of God, like calling things into existence, being able to speak shit happening, control like shit like that, mind control, etc. People listening to you, commanding things into existence. Um, and the people is chasing preacher. Y'all know we talked about this because he got this gift, but in order for him to have this gift, he had to be balanced. He had to have preacher had just enough of bad, just enough of good to balance that gift. Now, what was interesting is in season four, it show you that preacher also had magic in him from his grandmother's side of the family. Metrilineal, right? Okay. What is all this meaning? What the fuck is you saying? I'm saying that they're grasping at straws. And you can tell. Like, look at the state of the economy. Look at the politics. Look at shit like that. Then, y'all, I was on fucking Twitter. See, I don't really be all into politics and shit, but sometimes on Twitter, you know, I might run across some shit. And y'all know how everybody's talking about how Donald Trump was like, you know, the Haitians is eating dogs and cats and shit, right? I was like, who? I didn't pay no mind because like, who the fuck, in my logical mind, I'm like, who the fuck is really paying attention to that shit? Baby, I get on motherfucking Twitter this morning. Tell me why. Like, these white folk. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, I'm so sorry. Some black people too. Shame. I, you know who you is. You know who you ain't. So, don't get offended. You know who you is. You know who you ain't. So, if you ain't a part of that group, then regardless of your color, your skin, you know who you is. You know who you ain't. That's all I got to say. Select so group. Most of them, light in tone. <laughs> like that. They on this bitch talking cash money shit about the motherfucking Haitians and what they do. Talking about they did missionary work. They did this and they done sent it. They sent it. And even some brown and dark tunes are on their corroborating stories. Like, yeah, I feel Haiti and ever since people from Haiti move into my neighborhood, my dogs disappearing, this disappearing, etc. So, I'm looking at this time. I'm like, man, you cannot be fucking serious. But they are. Trump is exc- inciting a certain something. Why? Why are you fear-mongering with that shit? Because you know, true to form, voodoo, hoodoo, any type of magic. Because y'all know, y'all think they it's, it's, it's going to be a gradual. Fuck what you heard. Y'all think it's just, hey, they're going to start off at the bottom and they're going to build their way back up. Just like they did with the Salem Witch Trials. So, if you are an occult girly and you think you're going to escape this shit, you're not. Eventually, they'll get to your ass, too. But right now, they focusing on the Haitians. Okay? They trying to say that we should, they shouldn't let the Haitians immigrate over here. Like, voodoo, black men. Like, they going in. In this day and time, you would not think that people would be really into, like, as much woo-woo as they got on motherfucking TV right now. What? So, like, it's back. Mm-hmm. Pluto and Aquarius is coming. This all ties into motherfucking. So we need to look up the God Aquarius and where he come from. Confirmation. Pluto and Aquarius. Chaos. Hmm. Chaos is coming. The fucking show. <laughs> Y'all. I was like, spirit, why the 
fuck? I don't want this goddamn down low. It's funny that I say it like that because there's a part in the show where they showing the daughter, the TV, the face. I mean, not the face. Okay, it's some other gods that appeared before Zeus, before everybody, during the time of chaos and some other gods and goddesses. They, they can't do shit with them. So they ride around like karma almost, right? Getting the people that do what they do. And so they they show the girl that her daddy had the brother put away, kill is what she think at first, but the brother ain't really dead. Okay. Hmm. Give me Isis, Isis, uh, or Osi- what is it? Anyway, I can't think of his name right now. But it, man, this shit, done, this storyline done played out so many different ways, so many different times, and can't nobody beat the game. You can't beat the game because you got generational trauma, you got family, you got politics, you got misogyny, you got patriarchy, you got this, you got that. Like, what the fuck? But somebody close to cracking the code because they couldn't the fuck up. And I feel like they couldn't the fuck up because Pluto in Aquarius, Prometheus has given information, technology where we can see and people know. And too many people know, and too many people going to the left. They going to the left because Zeus, aka God, is not helping the oppressed. That shit is starting to trickle over to the middle class and the upper class. Everything ain't what it seemed. A lot of people eyes open. That's why at the end of the show they was like, chaos is coming. Things are gonna have to be redone. And baby, yes, that shit is crazy. Oh my god. <sighs> 40 minutes in, 50 minutes in, I done been talking about this. I, I'm sure there are some other breakdowns around the world about this. And I looked on TikTok and I'm like, damn, I don't see nobody like decoding this fucking show. It's fairly new. Maybe that's why. So, and then if you not, I ain't going to hold you, one of our people, you might, may or may not be that interested in it. You know, some of we ain't into Greek mythology for real. But you should be. Study your enemy. Hmm. Study your opponent. You should be. Tear point blank. Get into it. Because you need to know what the fuck going on. But see, it's so many people caught up on one spectrum of shit. They only worry, yes, every all of it fits together in this one grand scheme, in this one grand puzzle, right? Yes, the Orisha is important. Yes, the Loa is important. Yes, yes, Obea. Yes, all of it. All of it. Make, it, it all runs together. But if you're, you're close-minded and you don't decide that you're going to go look in other places, studying, like, y'all, like I told y'all, when I be coming on TikTok, I don't just watch just my folks. I watch every fucking body. I watch the Russians. I watch, you know, Baba Yaga motherfuckers. I watch uh, the UK witches. I watch uh, the Chinese, the Taiwanese. I watch the Koreans. I watch the indigenous. I watch all they motherfucking ass. I watch everybody. I don't just watch like us. That's a mistake. <laughs> that's a motherfucking mistake you got to know what the fuck going on and if you don't know what's going on so most of us gonna miss the message because a lot of people ain't gonna watch that show (laughs) a lot of people ain't gonna watch that show to to some time has passed time has passed now um what else i want to say get off my mind this spirit said i need to say um yeah get to know your opponent and this is why the feminine is being attacked. This is why they be like, in the beginning, it was Kronos and Rhea. It is Zeus and Hera, but Zeus is fucking power hungry. Period. So, I don't know where you go with that. Like, it's supposed to be two people. It's supposed to be a balance. Either it got to be two rulers or it got to be a balance. And we ain't got no balance. And that's what's wrong. And things are going to continue to go left. And they looking. When they say they looking for the the true Messiah, the woo-woo, yeah, they looking. Then as soon as they find them, what they do? 
they kill their ass off. They put them in jail. They do such shit. Why? They pretending like they want to find the motherfucking Messiah. No, they don't. They don't want to find the Messiah. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Now, they might think that's what they doing, the lower, like the workers. But the bosses, the gods, the high political, they're not really looking for that motherfucker. And they looking for them. They looking for them to imprison them, to put them up. To do something to them so they can't ascend to that point. Hmm. The attack on black and brown communities. Ask yourself why. I'm telling you, y'all, this shit way deep. It's deeper than rap. And it's been going on a very long time. So, now, Crete. Okay? Crete. Crete is an island. It's also in the Bible. Again, see on the south. It's in Greece. It's the Greek. And maybe that's why they look over Crete. I don't know. I got to do some more, like, research on Crete. But Crete is the largest island in Greece and the fifth largest one in the Mediterranean Sea. Hmm. Because I was like, why Crete? Why? What, what's, what's so important about them? Ancient Crete is the place where the Mononian civilizations, one of the most important civilizations, started. Oh, okay. <laughs> Crete is the birthplace of Zeus. Die. <laughs> That's why he watching over Crete. Okay, so then Crete, and then you got other extensions, Roman, Catholic, like, but, oh my God. Then they sell their motherfucking ass over here fucking with us. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh, my God. Right in your face. Zeus was one of the most powerful Greek gods and ruler of Olympias was said to have been born in Diceatine Cave located in Crete. Many ancient writers, including Homer, wrote about this mythical birth. The god Hermes brought baby Zeus from his birthplace in Crete to Gortine to be raised by nymphs who disguised him as a goat so that his father Kronos wouldn't eat him because he had been told that one of his children would overthrow him just as he overthrown his own father Uranus. <gasps> ah! The cave is open to the public. It can be visited. One of the oldest olive trees is in Crete. Y'all, okay. <sighs> wow. Because I, I was like, what the fuck is a Crete? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Ancient Greece. And who came fucking with the Egyptians and the the folk? The Sumerian, who can't fucking with them? Then you mate and you get, get who you get? You get Lilith. Lilith done dipped off. Mm. And Lilith made children. Mm. 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 So it's the fact that people try to per, per, like make it seem like Lilith some type of demon. But they you know they call the gins. They say the gins are demons. And if you know anything about King Solomon and motherfucking Villaquist or the Queen of Sheba, her father was a gin. You know, uh, I ain't gonna, I could go deeper. I could go so much fucking deeper. It's it's not a conspiracy. It's it's for real, for real. Now, where you, where I, maybe if you made it this far, you like, what the fuck this got to do with me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'll tell you more when I figure it out. But, what I am saying here is... <sighs> like it's a lot more like like they say they gotta tell you they gotta tell you Mount Olympus is in Greece and that's where the Greek gods supposedly live okay 
that makes a lot of sense. Well, I don't know. What do we, because I kept asking spirit, what do we do with this information, right? I was like, okay, so what the fuck do we do with this information? (laughs) And my spirit team is saying teach, is saying inspire, is saying continue to go against that shit. Because it's not fair, it's not right, it's too much, and it's time for a shift. Now, who gonna be the person to do that shit? I couldn't even begin to fucking tell you. But what I can tell you is, it's some shit out of whack, some shit finna change, and they putting that shit right in our face. I had to give you the decode. It was coming. I watched the entire remainder of the season last night, like, back to back to back to back, like, from yesterday. I finished all eight episodes for a reason. Okay. Okay. <sighs> that what I got. That what I got from there, y'all. That that what I got. Um, I'm sure there'll be more. But yo, yeah, with Donald Trump, John, Donald Trump is being very ooh. Hold up now. Hold on. So the earliest reference to the island of Crete comes from texts from the Syrian city. Now, who else come from Syrian and Mesopotamian? Lilith. Oh, okay. Where the island is referred to as Captara. This is later repeated in Neo-Assyrian records and the Bible. It is known in ancient Egypt as Keth. Two strongly suggesting a similar Minoan name for the island. Homer's Odyssey in ancient Greek, the name Crete first appears in Homer's Odyssey. Mm. Ancient Greek, another proposal suggests it means strong or powerful. Reasoning be- being that Crete was the strongest thalacrosy thalacrosy during ancient times. So basically, like Zeus, Zeus succeeded Kronos because in one of the scenes of the show, Hera is like Zeus. Some shit gotta change. We gotta shift it. Like I'm paraphrasing in my tone, obviously. You know, you becoming your dad is what she tell, which is Kronos. Now, basically. Kronos ate his kids. Zeus is eating his children. Us. Yeah. What we gonna do about it? I don't fucking know. I mean, I did just say my spirit team was saying we needed to like, you know, (laughs) we needed to like... I don't know. We need to teach. We need to grow. We need to be better. We need to do exactly what the fuck we doing, I guess. But that's just to give you some sort of basis of how they throwing this shit in our face and how Trump is being very strategically placed to incite fear. And, and it's happening. It's working. Y'all think that's dumb and we laughing like, ha, <laughs> He's so stupid. Meanwhile, these motherfuckers is really riding for they for they boy. Okay, they riding for their boy. Hmm. Huh. Please believe it. They mother- That's why they want you to think astrology is dumb. That's why they want you to think mythology is child's play, and you should be doing confirmation. You should be doing the mundane. Fool la la la. It's all woo-woo. Don't talk to the trees. Don't get to know nature. Don't get to using your herbs and your shit. Like, don't step into your divine feminine. They, you know, they don't want you to do that shit. For obvious fucking reasons. And that's one of the main ones. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, 
And then even the concept of Zeus and Hades, which is Pluto, which is, you feel me? Like, even the concept of that. So now that made me want to study astrology like a little bit more and see what's going on with these motherfucking planets. You know, and as you petition them, and that's why they be helping us because a lot of them don't agree. Hmm? They don't agree with what's going on. That's why they help. Even hair is crazy ass. No shade, sis, wherever you are. <laughs> like, so the Greek gods have sunk back into the shadows and they're letting the politicians and the people and et cetera do their dirty work. But there's a shift coming. A revolution. Because is it not crazy that he mentioned in Haiti at this point when we on the precipice of like a time when revolution would occur and now they fear mongering and shit? Like, is that not ironic? Not crazy. Woo. Crazy like, hmm. <sighs> That's why it's very important for us to not let our egos take over and get off our soul box. You got to stay in your own lane. You got to do what you're supposed to do. And whoever, everybody want to be the top dog without being successful as the top dog. Like, you got to do the work. It's not about what you think. It's about, like, you think you are. It's about who you actually are. Because everybody does have a role. A lot of the other gods couldn't beat Zeus because they, at first Zeus was very, like, fair and practical. Like, he was good. But not no more, according to that. I ain't saying shit, because I ain't trying to, you know, <laughs> I'm still, like, very mindful of what you say. I'm just decoding a show. Put that out there. Um, because, like, those energies are still powerful. We still need those energies because they are powerful. So making your enemies your footstool type shit. You feel me? If you feel what I'm putting down. Now, I don't know what you guys are going to do with this information. I pray that it reaches the right people. But, yeah, outside of the books and everything that we're doing, this is what it is. And, yeah. Look at your natal chart. Figure out where you stand in all these. And every single day we get a guide about how we need to handle life. We sure do. <laughs> do motherfuckers listen? No. <laughs> they, 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 and them the people you got to leave the fuck behind. Them the people you got to leave behind, bro. You got to leave their ass behind. Because they finna get you fucked up. And then you got to, like, redo. And they say you can sit in Hades for 200 years. And either they feed off your ass or they send your ass back. Okay? If you was a tortured soul, somebody, maybe your family didn't love you. Because those are the people that sit and did the work, like, whatever. And then hate Pluto, Hades, whatever, he sent them back after 200 years. They recycle, they come back. But they say you don't end the show. They saying people ain't going to heaven like they think. Like you going up there with the gods. And, no, you're not. No, because they want to keep their position. You don't, you don't go. They feed off your energy. They put you somewhere. And then they send other people back to recycle and do the work and, you know, fuck how it turn out. And it's repeated. That's crazy. And as I was really, like, settling in on that fact along, I'm like, damn. So you, you beat the game. How do you beat the fucking game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's some motherfucker. It must be some folk close to it, though. Because they couldn't up. It got to be some people very close to it. They couldn't up. Otherwise, they wouldn't it'd be nothing. Hmm. Yup. That's my word on that, y'all. Anyway, um, so get to know your natal chart. Get familiar with astrology. That's the smartest thing you could do right now to me. Get to knowing. Learn your enemy. Learn your opponent. Learn your, your shit and get in tune with, with your path. Get in tune with who you supposed to be. That's how. Shit. 
that shit made me want to exclusively offer birth chart readings only. Feel me? It's, that's important. Shit. But it, it got to be broke down. It got to be broke down because the person who, or people who's supposed to build that shit up, them the people that they, they, they pumping full of drugs and low vibration ass energy and fucking whoop the home so they can't build and grow further. Like the people you got to reach, Jesus talk, how Jesus was in the trenches. The people you got to reach is like not the motherfuckers who is studying astrology. <laughs> That's the trick. Whoever it is ain't in the upper echelon. They not the divine motherfucking nine. No shade. They not. They not coming from two parent households all the time. They not like it's somebody else. It's somebody else. That's the download I'm getting. It's somebody else. It's, it's the motherfuckers that don't know about crystals and goddamn shit like this. It's, it's somebody else, friend. That's why they poison the hood the way they do. Ooh, what a download and trade in the background, y'all. Oh. <laughs> ah, the trade in the background, friend. Oh, shit. But it's true. The homeless, the oppressed. They ain't thinking about no goddamn horoscopes and zodiacs and crystals and healing. And they ain't thinking about that shit, man. The people who got access and time, the luxury of exploring this type of information is the motherfuckers that don't need it. Booyah. Okay. Um. Anyway, how much more spirit? <laughs> I don't know you trying to... Baby, I don't got no, um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just me out here in these streets. <laughs> oh, and you know you got a channel as long as they tell your ass the fucking channel. Oh, my God. Mm, something for the motherfucking people. <sighs> All right, then. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wow. Okay, y'all. Thanks for coming to my tits. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming to my time. My motherfucking crown is tingling like a bitch right now. <sighs> the least likely. The least likely. It's who you least expect. That's why you got to get off your motherfucking soapbox. That's why you got to get out of your ego, get out of your vices, get out of it. Like, it's who you least expect. Because they the closest to the other one, the other side, the fairness, the, the maya, the, they, they the closest. They the only part, people that can beat that shit. That's why they tear their ass down. And I ain't even being funny because I'm not being funny. But if you come from Gaia, from Gaia you come and from Gaia you shall return. Who you think got the juice? Who you think got the juice? Who you think got the juice? Who is a threat? Let's put it like that. Who's a direct threat? Hmm. They not picking scholars and like people who are direct threats. They pick picking people who go along with what the fuck they they think and how their ideals go. But the people who are the threats, right? They got that extra little razzle dazzle. Hmm. I knew this was gonna be a long one. And I ain't get shit in about the motherfucking chart today. This might just have to be a fucking tribe talk. And I just got to go in and do another one. Because two hours is wild. Because I'm sure this reading finna be crazy as fuck. Mm. That's why they don't want you to talk to the fortunes, the fates. That's why they don't want you into that. That's why they say it's evil. I know it is evil. God forbid we know what the fuck going on. God forbid. <sighs> All right, y'all. So now I'm trying to sit up here and decide if 
I'm a weave this into the whole situation or what. I think I'm finna stop this and make two parts. I think this gonna have to be a tribe talk because at first I was like, okay, I'm gonna be able to run down and then go into my normal schedule program, but I don't think I am. I can't. I can't. I ain't gonna do that. So I'm gonna make these two episodes. This gonna be a tribe talk. <sighs> Figure it out. Um, yeah, that's all I got for that. I love y'all and share this message and take notes. Go looking for your fucking self. Don't take my word for it. Go watch the show. Get your ass on the internet. That why they trying to succumb. <laughs> You like, well, who I ain't gonna lie, Hood Hiller was right about that shit. You better use the internet why it's motherfucking free. Hmm. That why they burn the books. Yeah. Libraries. Alright. Then the people that they ask they access the information, they got them in a certain group. Boulet. Divine Nine. Certain places. You a preacher, you this, you right up under their umbrella. <laughs> Baby, I could go so many different fucking places with that shit. I wish, like, stop giving me the download. <laughs> no, don't stop. Please don't stop, actually. But anyway, um, I kid, I kid. Because, you know, you can't decide. Um, I kid. But, yo, y'all, that's what it is. So, um, I'm about to post and do the actual or part two because I still might talk some more shit. I don't know, depending on what spirit, you know, leads me. But yeah, I love you guys, and we'll chat soon. Bye.